Hey, everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're coming. What? I messed up two lines. I'll do it again. Hey, everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Coming to you live-ish, sort of-ish, from an undisclosed location in Canada. Oh, look at this. Look at this view. It's amazing. Satellite dishes, all kinds of amazing stuff. Guys, I'm going to talk to you about what's going on in the U.S. debt clock. Something interesting just happened. And I don't think it's the end of the world. But I'm going to be honest with you. I think something interesting is happening, sort of prophetic. Let's share the screen real quick. I want to talk to you about some things. If you've never watched this amazing piece of software or whatever it is, uh, it's really, really awesome to watch. And what's really neat is just to, it's just fun sometimes to watch the government rack up that debt. I have no clue why the screen is doing this weird thing, but I want to bring you to this little section right over here. The dollar to oil ratio now just hit $0 per barrel. We have the dollar to silver ratio just hit $0 per ounce. And the dollar to gold ratio just hit $0 an ounce. Now, we've seen little glitches every once in a while in this debt clock. But I think it's very interesting. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is very prophetic. And I'm going to explain why. I believe there is a day where, and in Mike Maloney's words, you will see silver known as unobtainium. A while back, the USGS put out a report that said that by a certain year, and I don't remember what it was, 2025 or 2026, that they believed that silver will be the first element on the periodic table that will literally cease to exist, that they will not be able to get anymore because of the demand for it, right? Um, I believe that day is coming. I don't know, I couldn't tell you when, but I will tell you that I believe that there will be a day where there is no amount of dollars that are going to be traded for both oil, gold, and silver. I think it's very interesting that we're in a time right now where, look at this, debt is just going higher and higher and higher. It blows me away how big our deficits are. Check this out. Median income right now, now, as of right now, median income, 35691 as opposed to the median income 23 years ago, which was literally a mere $4,000 less per year. Think about that. How much was an ounce of gold back in the year 2000? Going off the top of my head, gold was around $250 an ounce, I believe, if, if my memory serves me right. It has now went up, literally, just quick ninja math, eight times. A gallon of gas in downtown Los Angeles in the year 2000, actually was a dollar a gallon. There was a point when it hit a dollar, but let's just say it was a little bit more. Let's say it was a dollar 25. As of right now, gasoline has went up over 300%. Easy. This is just quick ninja math I'm doing right now, spitballing. Yet the median income has only gone up 10%, a little bit more than 10%, right? 12%. Ninja didn't pay attention in math school. <laughs> it doesn't take a rocket scientist to explain how damaging the effects of inflation are on a society. And I, this is not financial advice, am someone that hedges against inflation using buying physical gold, and physical silver. I think it's just smart business. There are a lot of people that don't do that, but I'm gonna be honest with you. The intelligent people that are wealthy are few and far between. Look at the median new home now, 493000 But in 2000, the median new home cost $161,000. Again, going up three to four times. Yet, the average wages did not even come close to doubling. This is how you know that we are in very serious times. This is why credit card debt is at an all-time high. This is why student debt, auto debt, and other forms of debt are at all-time highs. This is absolutely blowing my mind. You guys need to watch this and use this as a motivation tool. The U.S. millionaires, 22 million 661,060. Are you going to be a millionaire? Where have you set your goals, your financial goals? 
It absolutely blows me away. Look at this. Manufacturing jobs today, almost 13 million, as opposed to 17 million in 2000. Look at how many manufacturing jobs we've given away to another country. If this is not motivation for you to start to diversify out of the dollar and look at gold, then I don't know what is. I've been warning about deflation. I've been warning about layoffs and an economic crash. And I believe that you are going to see this pick up. Go and check out the U.S. debt clock. I got to be honest with you. I think it's pretty prophetic what's going on today. There's going to be a day where there's just no amount of U.S. dollars that are going to be able to pay for oil, gold, and silver because the prices are going to be skyrocketing and other countries are going to be vying for it. Are you going to be ahead of the curve or behind the curve? If you've never bought silver, I'll put a link, an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any extra. You don't have to use it either. But I encourage you to find the best price possible. Um, there's a company that I work with that uh, Silver Gold Bull that has things ready for delivery. And it sounds funny. I was just talking to a subscriber yesterday about how he's really into the mining stocks. And so am I because the leverage, but he still has not even bought two physical ounces. And we're talking about a successful man. And I said, go and buy two ounces, put them in your hand and drop one on the other and feel the vibration that comes off that. I know it sounds crazy, but you'll know what I mean. There's a reason why it's called a precious metal. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. The Economic Ninja is out. Now, if I could just find the off button. See ya.